All right, so here's my dilemma. Um, I got my iPhone here, and I want to be able to put it someplace, but the ignition switch is here, so I can't put it there. There's really no spots over here I guess I could put it there. Um, right now, currently, I just kind of toss it wherever and look at it whenever I'm at a stoplight. But I thought something right about here would be good. That way I could, you know, do it for maps or whatever. So I went looking, and I found the kind that clip on to the vents when they break or they break your vents like what the hell that's when i found this one and it attaches where uh, you know a little sticky there and it um undoes this way so that way you can pull it off if you wanted to and take it to another vehicle just get you another one of these adapters here and again this came off of amazon so I started thinking, well, where's a good spot to put it? And the only good spot is right up here. I have a dash cover. So I thought, let's take this off. I can cut a little hole up here. I can stick this part through it, and it's going to look pretty cool. So um, let's do that. Okay, so here's my spot. And I'm really thinking that with that, kind of like this, it, it kind of keeps it a little ways out of the vents. And normally this vent is... For that person over there, which no one ever rides with me because it's just a commuter car. Something in right here would be an awesome spot for it. So they send you, they send you these little wet wipes. So we're going to take that, clean off the area, take our pad, peel off the back of this, stick it on there and see what happens. Let's do that. Little wet wipe here. Get this open. Do not judge me by my wet wipe opening skills. And it's a tiny little thing. Holy mackerel. I must be better off with just some rubbing alcohol. So we're going to rub this. This is kind of the flattest spot up here. Kind of get it all nice and around there. Okay. And, uh, oh, yeah. That's, not, that's dirty. Let's try the other side just to make sure it's as clean as possible. Whew. Dirty, dirty, dirty. So we'll let that evaporate for a minute here. This is the, it says here, clean targeted area with alcohol pad. Leave for five hours at least after pasting before use. So we're going to let it rest for five hours. Okay, well, let's air this out here. And this is the middle of February in Phoenix, Arizona. It's supposed to be 72 degrees. So five hours and we'll come back on this. Come on, come on. La, 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 la. Okay, here we go. We're going to try this out. I'm peeling the back of it off. All right, there's a sticky part. And that's a perfect little circle. So just, uh, you know. Find a spot for it. I'm going to go right up here. Now my dash does curve down a little bit. So it doesn't quite stick all the way. But, all right, now I'm going to leave it alone. I got other stuff to do. So uh, I'll go back working on the Firebird. And we'll let this sit for a little bit. And we'll come back and revisit this. All right, so we have our mount. It's been up here now for about seven or eight hours. And again, it's not fully flush as the dash kind of curves down. But here's our phone holder and uh, metal. Do that. That's nice. So now we're basically going to uh, screw this into there onto here. <clears throat> see what it looks like. About like that. Start this. Now it is taking a minute to throw it in there. There it is. All right, so now that's tight. Okay, here's our phone. And now the adjustments. 
You don't get a, a whole heck of a lot, I guess. We'll open that up. We'll bring that down. Now, I have a iPhone 12 Pro Max, I think. So if we slip that in there like that, there's a little button back here. There's my beautiful wife. But you know what I can't see? Wow. <clears throat> so it does have an angle up. That's about it, right? Just that one. Yeah. Kind of like that. So, hmm. Now, we can lay this back down. And that's not too bad. I don't, actually, I kind of like that. Instead of cutting a hole in it. All right, so there it is. Now, it does seem like it's kind of tilted a little bit that way. But, I mean, I have some movement this way with it. So far, I like it. Um, it seems sturdy. So then when I need to leave, I should be able to just pop it out just like that. And then when I get back in the car, just like that. Cool. Well, I think we found a product that's actually uh, going to do the job. Now, again, the mount back here is a lot sticky thing. And they do send you a second sticky. But, hmm, interesting. And, of course, there is a, an adjustable here on the back which I have the death grip lock on, apparently. They're a little bit better there. So let me see now. If we do it that way, reattach this. A little slides in there. Thread that down in. This seems to be the hardest part is getting that squared and threaded in. Okay, so kind of off to this side here, and then kind of angle it to me that way. And now let's take the phone and set it in here. Oh, I think I like this. This is going to be kind of cool. And if I need to, it does have a spot down here to where you can plug it in. Let's see. Yep. Look at that. And then if I want to go sideways. Hot diggity damn dog. Look at that. Look at that. I like it. I like it. That's cool. All right, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to buy one of these for yourself, there's a link down below on Amazon. Yes, you will make me a nickel if that, but you can help support the channel that way. I'm loving this phone holder. It's metal. It's out of the way. It doesn't clip onto my vents that break. That's some cool stuff, man. Get yourself one of those. Until next time, guys, have a good one, and I'll see you on another episode of Arrowhead Garage.